Let you know, man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you. Every time you go out with a person, you see the sign. I just did a video um, and I said that any man that will say when y'all go out to eat, listen, that side, if you order from that side, like the steak and the ribs and the, you know, uh, lambs and all that good stuff. If you order from that side, that's the we having sex tonight side. But you can order chicken all day long. A, f a broke man would do that. But a real woman is going to walk out the door. Listen, you know what? Um, it was definitely a pleasure meeting you. Thank you for showing me this sign. You have a wonderful night. And walk out and leave. Why? Because she holds her own. And this is why I tell you, come to the table. Listen at my video. Look at other podcasts. Come to the table with something more than beauty. Because your beauty and your sex card runs out. But you need to handle and understand who I can handle or who I'm wired for way before you know, you guys start catching feelings. I'm not catching feelings with you until I discover, is this a perfect fit for me? Now, 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 I know some of y'all are going to be nasty and be like, oh, but there has been some people that found out that they were a good fit and it still didn't work out. I'm not saying that the relationship is going to work out because there are certain dynamics of a relationship that can change. However, from the core, am I wired for this person? And, Listen, if you know, ladies, I'm going to say this to the guys tomorrow, but ladies, I got to, if you know that it's required of you, because some women, you know, God bless them. Some women are cool with getting their hair done once a month, right? She understands finances. Like, Listen, I know we don't have it like that. So I'm not going to require you to get my hair done every week or every two weeks. But can we do like once a month? You have women in that category that will uh, work with the guy. You even have women that will like, listen, that's why I say you got to discover who you're wired for. They will go to the thrift store and put something together. Dope. I saw this. I saw this guy on you on Instagram. Yes. I, I don't I don't know his name, but I just followed him yesterday. He, he goes to the thrift store, finds some dope shoes, like some some name brand shoes. And he just rehabs them. And then when you look at him, when he's finished, you're like, what? Like some brand new shoes. You have women like that. that I don't mind going to the thrift store, doing this, doing that. But what attracted me to his page was his creativity. The create. I love fashion stuff, right? So watching his page would give me ideas on how can I put colors together, right? It's another guy too, big guy. And, um, but he puts clothes. I mean, the clothes that he put together, you wouldn't even think like, oh man, that's a dope idea, right? I love fashion. I love, I'm big on the fashion tech podcast. I'm big on this stuff. But you have women that's like that. Like, I go to the thrift store. Then you have other women like, nah, uh, 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 I got to go to Saks. Or I got to go to Neem. I got to go to these stores. Or I got to go to Gucci. Understand who you're wired for. Because, ladies, if you get a guy that is, your standards is here, his standards is here, and you guys have been attracted to your mind and beauty, it'll work for a while. But eventually, you're like, you're so cheap. Not broke. He's not broke. He's cheap. You're like, you're so cheap. I can't deal with this. I can't. Have you ever seen that uh, TV show, um, I'm Married to a Cheapskate, where they cut, I mean, like corners, like it's disgusting. I saw this one episode where they invited, <laughs> it's crazy. They invited everybody over for the Super Bowl, right? And she was making lasagna. And instead of putting it in the oven, because she said that it'll, it'll run the bill up. Right, their bill is like a hundred dollars. I think they got light bill or something like it's a hundred dollars. Right, so what they do is instead of uh cooking the lasagna in the oven, she takes the lasagna and put it in a dishwasher. She wraps it up real tight, as if it matters. She wraps it up real tight, and I think the dishwasher gets like 105 degrees, something like that. It gets hot, right? So she she waits until she has enough dirty dishes. She puts the dirty dishes at the bottom, put the lasagna at the top, and run the dishwasher. And that allows the heat to cook the lasagna. And I think the one time she did it, it didn't cook all the way. So they had to put the rest of the microwave or she ran it again. I don't know. Something like that. And while they're watching TV, this is crazy. What they do is they turn off all the lights during commercial and turn the TV off during commercial. And when they think that the, they came back on, they turn it back on. Bananas. Eventually, ladies, you would get sick of that. You would get like you're not broke. You just cheap. Right. You get tired of that. So I need you to understand the type of man that you have been wired for. What can you handle? What is a, a deal breaker for you and what's not a deal breaker for you? And the reason I'm doing this podcast is because too many of you are getting with people, with getting with men and settling. You're like, it's cool. Listen, <laughs> he let me ride. He let, he let me have my own Range Rover. I get a credit card and I don't have to work.
But on the back end, look how he's treating you. We're not wired the same. He's insensitive. He's cheating, right? Because in the beginning, it was fun. Like, you name one relationship that doesn't start off well. I've never met a relationship that I'm, ta- I'm, not, I'm not talking about you guys got off on a b- bad foot. No, I'm not talking about that. Or you guys got off at a rock, rocky start. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a relationship that uh, you liked him, he liked you, you liked each other, and you just couldn't stop talking to this person. You couldn't stop thinking about this person. All relate good relationships, all decent relationships start off like that. But all relationships don't end like that. Why? Because you discover who the person really is. And you discover, am I wired for this person? And then you discover that I'm not wired for this person. Some of you, this is why I'm making the video, some of you discover that you're not wired for this person, but you stay with the person. Why? Because of the benefits. I need you to stop staying with people because of the benefits. The benefits is cool. Make your own benefits. Like, I, I get it. It sounds easier said than done, but... If you're willing to work through the progress or the process, you can get your own benefits. He's giving you a car. Cool. Uh, work, grind hard. Work on that credit. Discover how you can leverage your credit. Right? Get your own bag. Because it's nothing like coming to the table with your own utensils. I don't need your utensils. However, whatever it is that you bring to the table is bonus. I am the catch. Man or woman, you got to understand when both of y'all come to the table and know that you're the catch, watch this. You would definitely treat each other with more respect because I know what I bring to the table and I respect and I understand what you bring to the table. I don't want you to leave my table. I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to leave. I want you at my table because I believe I I told you this before. Marriage is, is not about love. It's less about love. It's more about can we work together to accomplish something great? All right, I'm done. How many relationships, and, and mo- most people, right? Most people will say, you lie, no, uh, relationship to in order to get married, it's about love. No, it's not. How many people you know that went to divorce court and told the judge, listen, I want half of, of their money and I want my love back? You never heard that before. Why? Because relationships is not about love. I, 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 you must have love in the relationship. Love is huge, but love is not the deciding factor. How many people y'all know that said, uh, why y'all get married? Because we in love. A month later, they divorce. Love is not the end all be all to make the relationship stay. Love is not the glue that'll make you stay together. It's deeper than that. Because love is more so, um, now in these days, it's more love is just a word. It's not actions anymore. It does because I can get on. I could be an influencer, yeah. But that lasts but so long. If that's your foundation of how you grew your following, like if you only grew your following because you're beautiful, right? Or you know, look at OnlyFans, right? You only grew your following because of sex and beauty. Eventually, that begins to go down if you're not innovative. Period. Like eventually, that gets old. So, but in relationship, sex and beauty gets old fast, especially when bills are due. Or especially when there's something that you want to do in life and they don't really bring nothing to the table that can help out. All they do is they look good and they have great sex. That's it. Eventually, right? Eventually, in, in the beginning, you know, people going to love it. You're going to love it, right? Eventually, it's going to get, oh, and you're going to be like, yo, I'm tired of this. This is whack, right? So, ladies, getting back to my original point, my second original point was just because you want a guy that has money, that is stable, that doesn't make you a gold digger. And I get tired of the guys. I'm like, man, she only want me for my money. No, she wants a guy that's stable, that just in case her bridge breaks, you have enforced, you know, uh, you know, lug nuts <laughs> under her bridge to be able to like, yo, I-, I can hold you up, period. And you can't fault a woman for that. And as a default, men require a men like women that are nurturers. Right, mother-like tendencies, and you may not want um, uh, uh, want any children, but most men, most men, hear me, most men enjoy the fact that a woman can, especially if he had a good mother, can mirror some of the qualities of his mom. Period. Right, but I'm talking to women today. I'm talking to fellas tomorrow. Understand what kind of man that you're wired to handle, or understand the type of man that you're wired to have. 
You know, so you may be, now watch this. I'm, I'm going to make a great example. You may be the type of woman that's an alpha female or alpha woman, right? Now, can you get with the alpha man? You can, you can, you can. Now, I'm not going to, you know, uh, 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 tell you who this is, but I, I've been following this podcast and I love this podcast. And if some of y'all have been following me and you listen to me, you probably know what podcast I'm talking about, but I ain't gonna bring it up. But this particular person, she is an alpha woman. She got with an alpha man, right? And she listed all the great qualities and everything about him was wonderful. You know, he commands, you know, authority when he walk in the room, stuff like, woo, woo, cool. I understand that. Great, great. She felt as if, and she's she's a very brilliant woman, right? So it's not like she got with the guy and she began to talk about him saying, I'm with this guy. No, that's not what happened. But over time, what happened was she discovered, and I'm just using my own opinion, she discovered that this guy I can't either, I can't handle. And I don't want y'all to get that handle part screwed up. Like handle, what you mean I can't handle? I can handle anything. You know, I match dollar for dollar, whatever. No, I'm not talking about that type of handle. When I talk about handle, I'm talking about can you keep up with this relationship in all aspects of your life? Not just physical, not just financial, but emotionally. Can I handle this? Right? Because you have some guys that are very, 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 very much insensitive and don't care about how you feel when they say certain things. They mean what they say and they say what they mean. If it hurts your feelings, it is what it is. Some women would say, I can't handle that. No, I, I can't. And it's not, when you say, this is a big one, I really want to help us out. And I'm going I'm to definitely reiterate this for tomorrow's podcast as well. Just because you say I can't handle something, that does not mean you're weak. So, um, I'm, I'm saying this in my vernacular. She couldn't handle him or he couldn't handle her. I don't know what happened in their relationship. But I do know they both made great money. They both were alpha people and it didn't work. They just broke. They broke up. I don't know how long they broke up because I don't get into people's business like that. I don't care. But I wanted to use this to make a point to my listeners because I need you to understand what kind of person you need to be with. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But they broke up. Right. Two alpha people broke up. So you got to understand this. If you're an alpha person and they're an alpha person, two alpha people can coexist, but it becomes difficult because especially when you're not um, secure in yourself, because a real secure alpha person was understand this. I understand when it's my turn to be alpha and I understand when it's my turn to be the second fiddle, period. Like, like everybody want to be Jordan. Nobody want to be pimping. Truth of the matter is, Pippin made Jordan who he is, and Jordan made Pippin who he is. The two was was a great dynamic team. Period. And 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 and, and I think that most women feel as if, especially the alpha women, feel as if if I'm not Jordan, then Pippin doesn't get any value. But you got to realize, Pippin got the rings too. But we don't talk about that. Why? Because we always highlight number one. But you don't really understand the pressure that number one is under. And even in relationships, I want, I want to, I want to lay this carpet out right now. In relationships, even if you're the man and you're the head, sometimes, sometimes it's designed for you to play number two. Because you won't have all the great ideas. Sometimes your wife or your woman will lead. And it's nothing wrong with that. You're, listen, just because a woman leads you doesn't mean that you're weak. And I hate, I cannot stand. My mama said hate is a strong word, but I hate a person that always think a woman can't lead. No, a man got to lead. That's so ancient Egypt, uh, what, what is it? Uh, caveman thinking, right? Because truth of the matter is, there are some circumstances that a woman can lead much, much better. And I'm not being sexist. I'm not saying, okay, a woman can leave better in the kitchen or a man can leave better in the yard, in the garden. No, 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 no. That's crazy. No, that's not, not at all. There's certain aspects of your life that a woman will leave better than a man. Now, it's all relative, right? It, it depends on the circumstances and the situation. I'm not saying that a woman can leave better in this area and every, every single area, area or every relationship. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in certain circumstances, there are circumstances in my life where a woman leaves better than I do or I leave better than she does. Now, just because the person is leading in this particular sense does not mean that you lose your vision. Catch it. Men, you can have vision, 
but she's following the vision, but you're leading. But now in a, it's a specific situation where she's in lead of your vision. Right. I need you to catch that. Only only insecure people will find fault in that. People that are secure who, who it is that they are, they will understand like, yeah, you're right. Sometimes she leads. Sometimes I lead, you know. But ultimately, it's my vision, but she's better in this position, right? Because every household, this is another thing too, every household is not going to be ran the same. There's going to be some households where the woman handles all the finance, or there's another situation where the man handles all the finances. At the end of the day, women, find the type of guy that you have been designed to be wired for, right? Because... If, if you get, and this is a big one, if you get with a man that you're unequally yoked, Bible says unequally yoked, but what I want to look at is um, if you get with a man that you are not compatible with holistically, I'm not saying that, okay, you guys are attracted to each other. It's cool. I know you meet a lot of guys that you're attracted to. However, that's that's this is why I tell you, go check out some of my other podcasts. This is why I tell you, dig around the tree before you begin to water the tree. And what I mean is when you first meet somebody, date them throughout, like go see their family, go see how they act with their friends, go see how they handle controversy, go see how they handle disagreements, arguments. How do they respond? Right. Because it's only through spending time with somebody will you discover, um, am I wired for this person? Now, let, let me let me drop this. This is a really good one. You ought to be mature enough, and it's not judging. Let's get that clear. This is not judging, but you ought to be mature enough to see signs in a person when you first meet them. Like, nah, I see something. Nah, I'm cool. Nah, I can't. Nah, I can't do it. I already see premature signs that this is not the perfect fit for me. This is not the person for me, right? Like, you ought to see signs when you first get with somebody, period. That's, that's, that's all top. You got to see the signs. And, and, and many people say, I didn't see the signs. Oh, no, no, no. What happened was you were so hard up on being in a relationship that you overlooked the signs. So you, listen, you see the signs. 